Members of the Nigeria police in their ceremonial regalia with the governor, Syria Kid Dixon, inspecting the guard of honor. To celebrate this victory, this victory that came through clear tint of hard work. No governor in our history, no governorship candidate in our There's a gentleman I just want to appreciate here. Some of you may have watched that. Uh... After inspection, the governor mounted the podium along with his deputy where both of them took oath of office to serve the people of the state. Concerning his plans for the next four years, Governor Dixon assured his people of consolidation on the gains of his first tenure. The wisdom of our strategy in calling for a diversification of the economic base of our state and exploiting agriculture and tourism as avenues for expanding our economy have now become more justified now than ever before. We will complete and put to use all our fish farms, cassava starch processing plants, other agricultural initiatives, as well as hotels and tourism facilities to create jobs for our teaming use and complement revenues from oil sources. He also extended an olive branch to members of the opposition political parties in the state. As a product of opposition politics myself, I respect your right to hold and to pursue political aspirations different from mine. I respect your right to belong to a party different from mine. Your participation in this just concluded political process made this contest more vibrant and our victory more worthwhile and legitimate. And today we are gathered. The governors of Taraba, Gombe, Ekiti, Abia, Akwaibom, Rivers, Delta, and Jigawa states were all in attendance. Now that the swearing in is over, it's time to get down to work. And yes, Governor Dixon has made a promise not to disappoint the people.